Hi there, Michael Eskin here with another ABC Transcription Tools demo. I've unified the tablature display and instrument playback for my customized TuneBook websites. And what I've done is I've taken the output of the tool, which creates a basic website with a tablature selector, and I've added additional code that when you pick an instrument from the tablature selector, it'll actually use that instrument for playback. So I just want to give you an example here. So if you go to the TuneBook side and go to the websites, I'm going to go ahead and open up the King Street Sessions TuneBook website. And you can see we have three drop downs. These are your tune styles. So I'll say Reels. And this is where you pick your tune. We'll say um, the Banshee. And by default, you're going to get a piano sound and standard notation. So if we go ahead and play, we'll hear piano. If you select a different tablature, for example, mandolin, you'll get the mandolin tab and now it'll play with mandolin. And uh, tenor banjo. Bazooki. Standard Tune and Dadgad Tune Guitar. Tin Whistle. Irish Flute. finally hammer dulcimer and with hammer dulcimer I mute the chords uh, just because it would be kind of chaotic to have the chords and the dulcimer uh, melody and I've gone ahead and implemented this for these four tune books here, so King Street Sessions tune book, Harp Celtic Jam tune book, uh, the CC Dublin tune book, and the O'Carolan tunes uh, collection. So, for example, if you go into the Carp tune book, same kind of thing. You pick a tune, uh, let's just say uh, Behind the Haystack. Uh, again, default will be piano. And if we go down to, for example, um, Bazooki, we should get Bazooki sound. So again, I started with the basic website with a tablature dropdown that's uh, created automatically by the tool. And then I customized the HTML so that when you change the tablature, it also manipulates the uh, ABC that it injects into the tool so that it gets the correct instrument. And again, the idea with the website builder is that it gives you a good basic website all by itself. You don't have to do any coding, but if you want to do more advanced things like this, and you have a basic understanding of uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, you can make those kinds of enhancements to your custom websites.